All right, so got the chassis out. We're gonna pull it out and get rid of that dude. So the rusty old Impala. Now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna trim off the outer rockers or the inner rockers. I'm sorry. Get all the little leftover shit off of them. Get it cleaned up and do the first drop. So we have an idea where we're at with that. Um, the firewall is gonna probably come out the rest of the way, but we're gonna deal with that after we get it in here and get a judgment of where we're at with the uh, first drop. The back of the car is still there, the bumper. We cut out the frame because it's much longer than the uh, Caprice and we can match up the back of it to the Caprice to kind of see where we're at with the bumper brackets. So anyway, there's the, there she is, she's flying, hovering, hovercraft. <laughs> so anyway, there's that rusty bastard. I'll tell you what, it's harder to cut rusty up metal like this than it is to cut clean metal. Cause this wants to grab the damn from Salazar all the time. Um, these little sections are up on the car still because they're gonna, those little boxes we cut out because those are where the, the trunk hinges bolt up to and we'll have to graft that into the next chassis. So anyway, for the first cut and then we gotta do some trimming now. It's always good to get the basic car out and then leave a little fluff and then cut off as you need. So go, go, and just keep on trimming it back until you have what you want. So cutting it off and adding more metal back on later on. So anyway, you can see she's a little rusty. All right. All right, so we repositioned the hoist with straps tying it from the top versus the bottom so that we can clean up the bottom areas and it'll interfere with when we drop it back down. <clears throat> we only have like, you know, a half an inch on both sides between the rockers on the Caprice and the rockers on the Impala. So there's no room for the hoist to be down there. So anyway, we tied off the front and the back. So it's nice and stable. Um, all the bracing helped it so it's not going to end up folding up or doing any twisting. So Nan's getting ready, getting ready to start trimming out the inside. So that side's all cleaned up on the inner rocker. Now he's doing this side over here. And then uh, we're going to cut cut the air boxes off basically inside here because of course all that is not going to be usable or used either ways. Cut across the top of the dash, keep the area for the dash to go back in later on. And then, um, cause the, we want as much to go as high as we can on the cowl to get the body as low as we can over top of the, of the, uh, of the chassis. So, uh, Anyway, we're going to cut it uh, for a pre-cut across here, but I'm pretty sure we have to go to here eventually. But I think we'll just do a pre-cut across here, come over here, take the air boxes off. That way, when we get the, when we get the uh, drop down, at least that stuff won't interfere because it's for sure going to be in the way. So uh, all that. And then uh, I don't know where we're at with the rear tubs yet. So once we get the, the other rocker cleaned up and the, this front area cleaned off, then we'll know better when we do the first drop. So coming up in about half an hour or so, we can do the first one.
Oh no. Take two. Two, take two. Tomorrow's tacos. Taco Tuesday tomorrow. Oh, yes, I know, huh? Don't forget, <laughs> we gotta go to tacos. <laughs> Alright? Alright. So uh, we're gonna do some trimming and we're gonna do it again. So as you can see, we got the first drop. Um, we're going to uh, go, I'm gonna go around and show you the issues I'm gonna have with the first cut to do the first trim. And then we just do a trim, pick it up, do a trim, I mean, sorry, pick it up, do a trim, drop back down again. Pick it up, down, up, down. We just trim a little at a time so that we're not overdoing it. There's nothing worse than cutting off a whole bunch and have to add it back. Okay, so we're just going to cut it off a little at a time, and uh, it shouldn't be a big deal. The really encouraging thing about this thing is how the fire, the cowl drops right down on top of the the cowl for the uh, for the caprice, right in line. So putting the dash in it and all that stuff should be pretty much no brainer. No brainer. It's gonna be some work still, but not like a lot of cars I've done. It's been a real lot of work. I mean, we have to. Some cars I've had to completely redo the dash to make the air conditioning works because of the ducting, and uh, and how far and back and forward everything is. But right now, this thing is lining right up. So um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go around with you with the phone or with the camera and show you the spots that are the issues, and where uh, Naz can take the first cuts, and then we'll. Um, do those little issues and then we'll drop it down again okay here we go all right so the first so here what i was talking about here as you can see damn it lines right up man so we may have to take some some off the say you'll get a little haircut across the top up here to get rid of some of this uh this metal here i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to cut it down about an inch and a half two inches to get that to come all the way down where i need it at um the wipers are going to be a probably a no-no. I don't know. We'll see if we can run the wipers or not. If we do, it's going to be a cable-driven because the rods, there's just no room for a motor. Um, so we cut the air boxes back here. You can see how they have to cut the part for the for the um, fenders. And then the air boxes, we took those off because basically we don't need them. And, the, and everything's going to drop in kind of right behind there. So um, uh, this section of the, of the uh, inner rocker, 
tilts in a little bit, so we're gonna cut that back some, and that should drop right down on top of the rockers. Okay, over here, I tried to keep that section of the door jam because I felt that it was structurally important, but um, it's just not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to do something on the inside of the car after we get it, get it down. So we're gonna have to cut that back. We can see where we marked it at. We're gonna remove that. We're gonna remove actually the inner part of the tub because the, um, the uh, stock tubs are gonna pretty much take care of everything we need. Since I was able to save most of them. So um, remember the rocker here, I want it to be down here when we're done so that uh you know we can have the same ride height or we can lower it actually i want it below the lowest the lower i can get it, the better for me i mean i want this thing on the ground for stuff i could so anyway so let's go back to back here so we left the bumper on it so that we can kind of get an idea where the bumper bracket where the bumper brackets and frame will line up with this car the frame of the back of this is pretty rusty so we'll have to make some new sections for it you can see over here in the where wheel tubs come down, you know, of course I got a little off track up here. <laughs> but, so, uh, Nan's going to come on trimming off right there at the seam, uh, both sides. Uh, we're going to undo the battery and move it out of the way because it's obviously interfering. Uh, Hi everybody, how you doing? Still here. It's like, uh, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night. I did the... Uh, uh, third drop on the Impala. I got a lot cut off it and got it trimmed down. We're like 10 inches from being, eh, I'm sorry, eight and a half to nine inches away from being in position. Tomorrow I'll have uh, Nan and Russell go out to uh, finish cutting it. We got quite a few more places we got to relieve to get the body down in place. Um, as you can see, it's starting to look pretty good. Tomorrow I'll show you what I've done, okay? It's too late right now. My legs are killing me, okay? And uh, I'll have Nan cut on tomorrow for probably at least three hours to get the legs level with stuff done so we can get it lowered down. Um, so uh, it's going to turn out really cool. I mean, this is going to be a bitching car. Um, next car up is a 61 um, Impala. We were going to do that first, but this one was like right in front, so we just grabbed this one first. I got a 61 Apollo to do on the same sort of platform. And I have a uh, uh, 61 Buick. I have, I'm kind of partial to 61 GM cars. I like the bubble tops. I like 59s also. I'm not a big 60 fan. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have that 61 up next. They're gonna start on, actually, they're gonna start on tomorrow, actually, getting the platform ready. And uh, we're not gonna show that until we're ready to put that video up when it's completed. but. We're gonna continue on putting this up every two or three days as we get it done. So uh, there's a, um, but after that I have a 61 Buick, like I said, and then uh, we have a, I'm probably gonna get back on my 68 Coronet. I have a 68 Coronet, it's on a 2013 SRT8 chassis I did about six years ago. It's been sitting for a long time. It got pushed aside, and I don't know why. Okay, car is over. It's got a pile of shit over in the corner over there. It's under there. It's so stupid. Oh, I got a hot rod Tourette's, man. I go from one thing to the next. I can't keep my mind on shit. You gotta see my driveway, man. I got a 60 Cadillac uh, El Camino project. Okay, I'll show you that someday. And I have a 59 El Camino that's on a, that I grafted in a uh, um, C4 front and rear suspension, and it's going to get twin turbos with an LS. <laughs> so <laughs> it's pretty badass. But I can't, I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to get the Impala done, okay? I'm trying to stay on task. It's hard. But um, anyway, we're going to get this Impala done, and I don't know what's going to go up next, but. I'll probably surprise you all with something else. I have. I also have a. Um, I have a 2006 GMC Envoy Denali that we're going to put a 56 GMC Cameo on. Should be pretty cool. Um, we're going to keep the interior. I bought. 
I spent a lot of money for a nice car because I wanted a really nice interior because I don't like paying for interior work. I'm just, you know, I don't have a lot of respect for interior people. <laughs> um, sorry. I have a good interior guy. I like him, but I don't like anybody else. Anyway, <laughs> um, they take forever and they charge way too much money and they work in air conditioning. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, oh, and I have a 69 Roadrunner. That's already been um, transferred over to a new to a Challenger platform. It's already done, okay. And I widened the passenger side quarter panel three and a half inches with a shaker stretcher. It looks badass. I, the, the driver side is already the quarter panel has already been stretched. I just got to put it on. Um, it's gonna be sick. But it had it, it gets a. Uh, 2000, I think I want to say 18 Hellcat with a thousand miles on it that I bought out of Florida like, I don't know, five or six years ago. <laughs> so anyway, I got to get that car done too. So anyway, we got a lot coming up, a lot of cool stuff. Please stay tuned, okay? Um, whoever my hater is out there, <laughs> give me a thumbs down every single, every single video. I mean, come on, man. At least tell me why you don't like me, okay? <laughs> I don't care. I know I'm not going to make everybody happy, but... Uh, and then when I chop the shit out of these cars, you know, if you guys want them original, well, I'm the wrong dude. Because <laughs> there ain't nothing original come out of my shop. Uh, except if I have a... I got a Model A over there I'm doing for a handicap, dude. But other than that... Um, no. Um, I guess this GMC is going to be original for the most part. But I cut and twist up everything, so... Um, anyway, stay tuned for some fun stuff, and I'm really tired and kind of loopy right now, And uh, but I will see you guys on the other side. Good night.